What's going on guys, it's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm not doing too bad myself. As you can see here, we have our first companion, Boone, who's actually pretty cool. Um, I kinda had to go a bit behind the scenes, and um, uh, I basically had to reload a save and get Boone again, and kinda like kill Jeannie Mae Crawford. Um, all over again, just because when I got here to start this quest for the next episode, which is what you guys are watching now, um, all these cows have died except for this one, and the guys inside, the McBrides, are like, hey, uh, we kind of want to do this before we run out of livestock, and I don't want to fail the quest, and I don't know what the consequences are if I do versus what I don't, and the rewards, too. So, yeah. Um, can we actually see the bullet holes? No, those are just like, yeah, okay. You can't really see the bullet holes. I'm assuming they just kind of like keel over and die. Um, but going off of what, um, five, six. So let's go, what, 12, let's go 24. Uh, let's go, so it'll be 12 a.m. the next day, right? And let's go 11.30, right? So let's let's do that. Um, going off of what No Bark said, uh, these guys most likely have stealth boys, and one might have a minigun, which is why they're getting riddled with holes. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like, wait another day. They said it's happening around midnight. So let's wait 11.30, and then see if we can't kind of catch them in the act. Alright, so both of them are still alive. And it gives us a good chance to test out this pistol, too. Um, let's just save again real quick. Even though it probably already saved when we uh, auto-save, or when we uh, rested. Or waited. Alright, so I don't see anything. Don't hear anything. Um, I don't know if we have to be crouched or not. They said they're coming from the west, so like that way. Right? Uh, let's check a bit out this way. Let's not go too far, but did we hear anything? I heard coyotes. I mean... That was pretty much it. Uh, are they just coming from down the hill, or from up the hill? I don't actually know. Hmm. Let's investigate up here, see if there's anything at all. Well, there's a billboard, doesn't look like too much. It's interesting though, what's... Feral Ghoul Roamer. Nice! I like that. It's pretty cool. This pistol's pretty nice. Not a huge fan of the slow-mo, but hey, it's okay. Um, just a mole rat? Yeah, mole rat corpse. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. I think we're kind of fine. Uh, I don't want to explore too much that way and miss, like, this event going on down here. So I think I'll stay within render distance of the Brahmin. What's this? Is it just like a feral ghoul? Glowing one. Okay. Maybe maybe these things are ghouls? Oh, nope. That's someone. I see that. Night King. And then they're just gonna... Can't run What's a me. Night King? Looks like there's just one of them. Ooh, he looks kind of ugly. Looks like an ogre. All right, so they killed one. Are there any others? Boone, that's it. The Brahmin, one Brahmin left. Okay, so I think that was that. Nightkin. All right, so we got that. We got that. We got a minigun in case we want it. We'll probably just hand this off to Boone, honestly. The Screams of Brahmin. Huh. Hey, you want a minigun? Ooh. This is interesting. Okay. Um, use melee. He's got a scoped hunting rifle. Uh, we can open his inventory, keep distance, back up, talk to, wait here, use stim pack. He's at full health. Um, be aggressive. Okay. Let's um, open inventory. Fine by me. First recon beret, merc run outfit, and sunglasses. Okay. Do you want a minigun? You probably won't use it, but, I mean, you know. 
Why not? Um, is this going to be an audio tape? Just Brahmin screams? Kind of hoping not. The screams of Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Oh. So he was, uh... Interesting. Okay. Alright, well... Nightkin, can they turn invisible automatically, or like, do they have stealth boys or anything? Howdy. That was... I thought I saw th oh yeah, I did see you. Hi. What brings you here? Um, uh, what could you tell me about the attacks on your ranch? Wow, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. All right, just wanted to meet you. Oh, well, I'm Alice, and you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. Yeah. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Huh. All right. Bye, then. Hi, Dusty. Find anything? Yep. No one's going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. 75 bottle caps. That's fine. So long. Novak, fame gained. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Solid. What's this? Gun case. It's average locked. That's fine. Bathroom supplies. Yeah, that's pretty true. I expected. Um... It says Dino Toy. It doesn't say Dinky the Dino Toy, so it kind of seems like a bit of a, uh, uh, bit of a bogus thing. But I'm going to hope they don't get mad about that. Yeah, they don't Look seem like here. they don't seem like they're angry. Um, my goal is to steal every Dinky the Dinosaur toy I can. Um, that's including not right now, of course, just because I don't think I have enough funds for it. But that's going to include eventually. All of the oh wow okay, um, that's going to include all of the uh, uh, like thousand um, toys unless it restocks right. Um, all the thousand toys that are in um, that away. Let's do come fly with me. All the thousand toys that are in like Cliff Brosco's inventory. I'll try and snag them at some point when I have enough like funds to spare. Patriots cookbook. Let's take that. Mailboxes seem to be like a really good space for Novak House, for, um, what was I going to say, for, uh, for, uh, little magazines. Um, yeah, yeah, they seem really good spots for magazines. Okay. I can imagine that the, uh, the, the, the ghouls or whatever will be over this way because I saw a glowing one, I killed one up here. I mean, it just kind of seems like they'd be this way. Although there was that structure down that way towards uh, No Bark's house. I don't really know what that's all about. But, uh, hey, you know, it's it's whatever. All right, we got a sign up here. What does this say? If I can read it. Oh, speed limit, what, 25, I think? Oh, uh, we got quite a lot of feral ghouls. They're all running towards that way. We got XP. I can kill you with one hand. We gained karma. Okay. Am I gaining karma by doing this? I guess so, huh? I must be. We keep gaining karma for this, so I guess. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. I like the slow-mo. It's kind of hard to reload during that, but it's all good. Alright, I think I might just use this gun from now on. Um... Although, some of the other guns that the uh, that Cliff had, they didn't seem too bad either. Uh, I don't want that carton of cigarettes, but I'll sell it or drop it at some point. Okay, let's take all this stuff. 
Um, I guess just kind of head around this way and see what's over here. I hope that wasn't it. Rebar club and stealth boy. I'll take the stealth boy. Definitely. Oh! Head to the Repcom facility, enter the facility, and discover the source of ghouls. We have more nightkin over here. Were they using stealth boys? I mean, if, if their name's a nightkin, whatever that is, right? Because they're not, like, super mutants or something. Um, they seem like they, like, just based off of that name, they seem like they could, uh, possibly, like, turn into... I don't know. They could, like, have some sort of properties that allows them to, uh, go invisible. I honestly have no clue. Alright, low-tech hacking. So we got lots of, lots of energy cells. I'll take this stuff. Doesn't look like a too bad of a haul. Definitely want to grab our, uh, lockpicking as soon as we can, though. Alright, we got more energy cells. There's a couple here and there. Um... I'll leave that. Just because I don't want to have to finagle with... Okay, those are kind of glitched. I don't want to have to finagle with all that stuff on a chessboard. It's fine. I can leave a few bottle caps here and there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that's going to be the place up here. So let's continue heading down. Whoa! We have like a whole building off to our left and a whole thing to our right. I guess it is like a giant factory though, right? So I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah. Alright, we got more feral ghouls. Why do they turn red like that? I don't... I don't get it. We got a Repcon test site. Quite a lot of you. Okay, let's not miss every one of our shots now. Come on. There we go. Nice job, Boone. Nice job. Alright, about halfway to another level up, which is fine. <clears throat> okay. That's kind of a glitchy texture there. Um, I assume we should just head inside instead of worrying about that or that. I don't really know, though. Dead ghoul. Bright Brotherhood robe. Plasma rifle. Bright Brotherhood. I don't... I'm trying to think of, like, my Fallout knowledge. Uh, I know lots of stuff is introduced in this game. Um, hey, you want a plasma rifle? I have, like, no use for a energy Fly weapon. by me. Alright, solid. If you want a plasma rifle, be my guest, man. Even if you don't use it, I'll probably just, like, sell it later on. Um... Bright Brotherhood. I'm trying to... I know this game, like... Okay, we're gaining so much karma for killing these feral ghouls. I don't know if we're supposed to be killing them. I guess so, because it's... I, I don't know. Um, I know Fallout New Vegas introduces a lot of, like, new factions and mechanics, so I'm assuming this is one of them. Alright, I'm gonna stretch my legs real quick. As this loads, just because they've been kind of cramped up. Hey! Oh! Over here! Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry! Uh. I would ask where are you located, but it seems like they're up the stairs and. Yeah. Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Sure. Stop wasting time. Uh, okay then. Is it like a battle between these guys, the feral ghouls, and the bright... Bright Brotherhoods? Kind of looks like it. Uh, I'm going to assume that's the case. Alright, he said go where? Uh, head upstairs to meet with the owner of the voice from the intercom. Did he say go this way? I don't know, I heard, yeah. I think he said this way. I'm just gonna go this way. Cause I don't really know otherwise. And then. Uh, 
Uh, okay, I'm just gonna head this way. Hopefully, boom comes and follows. Whoa. Mm, no. It looks like they're in here. He said big room. Big room. Lots of noise. Head up the stairs. Am I doing this wrong? Metal door. Yeah, this kind of looks like it. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe up there. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. Just because I think this might be it. But I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just going to head this way. I hope it's correct. I think you said head up the middle stairs. So, you know. I'll just assume it is. Yep, I think so. All right, smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Uh-huh. Repcon Research Labs. You know, some sort of research went wrong, but it was a rocket test facility, right? God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Head upstairs, speak to Jason Bright, the leader of the Repcon Ghouls. Okay. Hey, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth skin, your uh, skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Uh, okay. So upstairs, I guess. And my light is not that bright at all. I'm assuming that's Jason over here. Hi. Bright follower. Hello. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. <laughs> our true home awaits us in the far beyond. What? Have you come to help us complete the great journey? What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, uh -huh. a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Are they going to launch a rocket? I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out, somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer. Bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, uh -huh. our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Uh, I'm assuming these demons are the Nightkin? Tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. Okay. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. Okay. They set upon us, as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. Uh -huh. One of the demons raved at us. But they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. Yeah. 
But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You said one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Uh huh. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Sure, I'll take care of the demons for you. They're killing cattle in Novak anyway, so. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Yeah, I really think they're trying to launch a rocket. Wait, real quick. Is the way clear? Not just yet. Uh, who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. Okay. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Your last name is Bright? That's funny. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the great war, even. Yeah. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. How will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. That's fine. What is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. Yeah. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Okay. What's the uh, deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. Mm -hmm. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Because he's human, but he believes... He's on your side, but basically he's a human. Uh, I'll be on my way. Let me know when the Underground has been rid of the demons. Sure thing. Also, I don't know how dark this is for you guys, so I'm going to turn my brightness up. Uh, just because I keep it on minimum. Or I guess about halfway, but I'm going to keep it up. Uh, maybe there or so. Um, I don't want to go super bright, but I do want it to make sure you guys can actually see stuff. Yes. So, Boone, how do you think about all that? What is it? I just... Ooh, we have lots of dialogue with him. It's pretty solid. We'll go over that another day, probably. We have lots of bright followers. Let's, uh, repair this stuff. There we go. First Recon Beret. What do we... Get this. Oh, did he give it to us? Wait, I didn't take it from you, did I? Um. Fine by me. No. Okay. Yeah. He just gave us a copy of his beret. That's pretty solid. All right. Looks like uh, we're gonna head downstairs into the basement then. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Not sure what your reputation is with the current group. If you earn one, you can find it in your Pip Boy under Stats and General. Nice. Uh, well, it kind of looks like we're just gonna head to the basement then, and, uh, where's the basement? Down here? I'm assuming so, right? Yeah, I'll take the stealth, boys. They don't seem too bad. Whoa, we just, like, smashed in that door. I would assume this is the basement. Yeah, it does say basement, so. Explorers are Caesar's advanced scouts. Typically, light armor, carrying binoculars, legion's message. Okay, that's cool. Uh, if you want to use a scope, I can spot for you. Keep you on target. Ooh, actually, hold on. Do we have a weapon that has a scope? We might. Uh, let's use the nah, nah. Uh, I do want to use the cowboy repeater at some point. Actually, so I think I might use that now, just because I don't want to use this pistol for the whole playthrough. You know, I don't want to keep using the same one. Okay, it looks pretty cool down here. Let's see enemies. I have a gun, but I won't keep it out, I guess. Um. Oh, jeez. Well, okay. That kind of scared me, not gonna lie. Uh, 
go away. Another one? Jeez, there's like three, four of them. Okay, let's reload real quick. Shoot for their head. Yeah, they don't seem very nice. Hey, no hurting Boone. Alright, we have a shotgun. Why not just, uh... I have to wait till the reload? Come on. Come on. So close. There we go. Ah, oh, Boone got him. Alright, that's fine. That's totally cool. I'm not upset at him for taking him out. Totally go ahead and do that. I see you. I see you. Oh, he's bum-rushing this door. Booner's unconscious. Nah, I'll kill you. Rifleman. Okay. Um, I really hope Boone can't die. Talk to Boone. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's not have Boone die on us. That would really suck. I don't. I don't see anything shimmering, so I think we should be fine. Um. I don't want to miss any of the big skill books because I figured they'd be in here. Like amongst bookshelves and whatnot. We got a dead terminal. That's always fun. Alright. Oh. Thought I saw shimmering, but I guess not. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna keep heading on. Pushing forward. I see you. you die now. No. You die now. Nightkin Jailer. I don't know what makes you a jailer, but, uh, I guess it's probably your weapon. Looked like you had a gun of some sort. Flamer. Wow, okay. What a jail key. Um, I don't really need an incinerator. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, that's totally cool. I don't need an incinerator. Let's head down here and kind of free people, I suppose. Empty, of course. Alright, nothing here, nothing there, or there. Yeah, what about here? Is this gonna be stairs down or another room? Stairs down. Woo woo. Okay. I'm assuming there's gonna be more than one person guarding this area. Uh, or no one guarding this area. It's kind of a crappy jail. Excuse me, Boone. Yeah, pretty bad jail if you ask me. This way? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe in here? I don't know. Oh, huh, okay. Uh, looks like that person, ghoul prisoner? Yeah, okay. Looks like either the prisoner died or... They killed him. Or died by natural causes, so they killed him. Okay, well, I was hoping to find someone alive in here. Doesn't look like that's the case. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Nothing else over there. Guess we can just head back up. <clears throat> oh. Nope, another dud room. That's cool, and I think Stimpak's are not top left. Where are stim packs? Hot key. Do I not have stim packs? Really? Come on. Stim packs. There we go. Top left. Solid. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to go. Just that I'm supposed to clear people out. Um, quest: Get rid of the nightkin in the basement. Yeah pretty hefty basement though so I mean I don't want to miss anything because they're invisible right it's I hope it's just not like one person we're missing like oh it's over here and like or, like we're over here in the prison right and they're all the way over there on the other side It'd be kind of annoying 
Okay, whatever though, let's just keep going. Push through it. Go this way. Food? Oh yeah. Okay. Doesn't look like much is in here. Or is it just a supply closet? Oh, I'll take that bobby pin. It's just one bobby pin, but... You never know, right? Excuse me, Boone. Alright, so we went in there. And I think we have neglected to go down this way. So, let's check this hall. Door over here. Oh, that's the fire. Okay. Um... There's, like, lots of anticipation for stuff. <laughs> just because they're invisible now, right? So... Let's just keep going, though. We already went down that way. We didn't open this door, though. So let's open this real quick. He looks like he wants to have a chat with us. Uh, let's save over this. There we go. What's that, Antler? We have a visitor. Is Antler your weapon? An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, <clears throat> Antler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Uh, who's Antler? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Yes, your weapon. Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. I came here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Not really. Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told him stay put. But they want to come down in basement anyways. Yep. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Uh, what did Antler... Uh, I need to be going. No, Antler says you are solution. Plus, can't have you skulking around making trouble. Well, I've already... Do as Antler says, or feel his horns. Up to you. Is Antler the Brahmin skull over there? Cut it out, human. Serious. Final warning. You're taking orders from a hunk of bone. You did it now. Antler's horn stabbing. Antler, mad. I mean, we're already we're already talking to the other guy. I do a lot of damage, I'll admit that, but I have a companion on my side, so nice job, Boone. Good work. Oh, cool! You can actually see the casings. Interesting. We got bumpers, sword. Ooh. We got Davidson's key and a frag grenade. I'm kind of fine without that. I didn't think that worked. I think it. I thought it would be like stuck in place. All right. Uh, I mean, I wasn't gonna like switch sides. I'm already dealing with the other guy, so eh, no point. Let's activate that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. I didn't realize there was something here. That looks cool. Possibly looks important too. What's in here? Ooh, okay. Uh, the quest did something. Yeah, report to Jason Blight the Night. Or Jason Bright that the Night King are gone. Okay, so it's pretty much just their leader. I'm not gonna go down there just yet. I'm gonna head back up and talk to him. Um,. I wonder what they're looking for, though. I wanted to, like, I wanted an option saying, uh, just, like, literally only asking what they're looking for. Um, hoping he'd tell us. Davidson's key. Okay. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm um, exploring, that's all. What about you? 
Maybe you noticed a bunch of invisible monsters out there. Nah, I gotta kill them all. I've been in here, trying not to get dead. Oh, uh, what can you tell me about the creatures out there? I kill them on sight, so we haven't had much time to get acquainted. They're hard to see, obviously. Uh huh. But they are too smart when it comes to tactics. Or not stepping in traps. How'd you get trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? Right. I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. You as well. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs. Uh -huh. but some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after him. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. Uh huh. And things went to shit fast. Well, there. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, and set up a nice little kill zone, and a story. All right, cool. You don't look like the other girls from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. <laughs> anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Cool. Why would I kill him? Uh, how have you survived? Well, I've already told you that. I'm not that. delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Uh-huh. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. Okay, before he continues talking, Harland sounds like he's doing a Christian Bale impression for Batman. So, you know. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Alright, well, uh, how can I help you get out of the room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. Uh-huh. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. Uh-huh. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Uh, wait, we did? We found her- we found his friend? Huh? I don't remember finding any- Oh! The ghoul prisoner. That's right. That's right. Uh, I did find her, unfortunately. I see. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellowest smile. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. Good luck. Alright, and with that, I think we'll end off the episode. Um... Got anything on you? No, just a rebar club. Alright, well they said they were traps, so... Ooh, yeah, some free XP. Oh! I didn't see that landmine. Why is it illegal to activate the bear trap? There we go. That was pretty odd, honestly. Um, but we went ahead and did that, so... That's fine, it didn't even... It didn't give me a... Oh, it's that, isn't it? That little tiny... Yep, concealed mine. Explosive skill's not high enough to disarm the trap. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'll probably just, like, uh, try and do this and... Yeah, I'll get some free XP here and there. Um... Alright, sweet. We got that without triggering those. Solid. Oh, 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 that would have been bad. Alright, good thing. Good thing I saw that. Alright, well that's actually going to have to do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. Oh, we need a high repair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh.